where the fifth floor is. To death! <laughs> Uh, well, the headmasters. Wait, would the headmasters be open? I'm trying to think. Because there's no stairs. Oh, never mind. I found the stairs. So here I am on the fifth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. The fifth floor has been opened up to us. This is like the roof. This looks like outside. And it's totally different from all the floors we've seen up till now. For some reason, it feels un unpleasant. The floor feels unpleasant. Then we should probably leave said floor, if it is that unpleasant. <laughs> it looks like it's outside, though. I mean, I saw bamboo. What is what is happening to Motokuma? What does this say? Nighttime secrets. Wait, nighttime secrets, no more. Stop, stop! <laughs> He's so dirty! What am I looking at? <laughs> Some weird kink thing going on. Wait, is the outside? Are we- we're free! <laughs> I think it's- I think it's just um, a courtyard because I think there is a court. Oh yeah, it's like it's just like a courtyard. So we're not exactly free. I mean, there's some like I think there was, like from the cafeteria you could see a courtyard. So I think it's just that. Model Kim kids are watching exactly. It's kids. Oh my. I mean, it's Motokuma. He doesn't want anybody. It's weird because he doesn't want anybody to t partake in like funny business, but then he does shit like that, and I'm like, really. Um, what does it say? Haha, ha, catch me if you can. What's- Wait up, I'm gonna- I'm gonna finish you! Look at him with his little- that a piece of chalk, Motokuma? I think that's what- What a gross! He's gonna get you with his piece of chalk- Oh, Makoto! I think the name Makoto! Toko, do you have anything you want to share about this classroom? Half and half is ready for Makoto. I mean, he's not gonna catch up at this rate. Oh, that's right, she's not gonna talk though, because Byaku said to keep her mouth shut. Makoto fast, Makoto speed. He's the ultimate speed instead of the ultimate lucky student. Huh? Does she want to talk to me about something? Toko, what's wrong? She wants to talk, but she can't because of Byaku. Is she trying to say something? I think she's almost just a little more. Wait, I think she's almost just a little more, and I might get it. Oh, oh, not the Angie. Makoto, let, let. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what it is you're trying to tell me. Here's a pencil. Like, get a pencil and paper, Makoto. Have her write it down. Wait, she's still alive. She's still alive. She uses sign language. I mean, she might have. It didn't look like she was. She just let her shoulders drop. She looks so sad. I guess she gave up. Did get a piece of paper and a pencil. There are no pencils at this school. Yes. I think she's trying to use her hands to speak. I maybe, but it didn't look like it very much. Maybe like, maybe they weren't portraying it very well. Everyone agreed on it. You still don't destroy people's things. That's not nice. Um, this floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there some reason for that? I hope it's not anything too creepy. Oh, that's all you have to say? Thank you for that words of wisdom. <laughs> Wasn't my idea at all. Oh, really? Still not. It's still not nice. Yeah, you. Oh my god. <laughs> Piaku, what did you do? <laughs> and I for. What the fuck is in this room? <laughs> <laughs> I like the I like the decorating. I like the splash of red. It really brings out the feng shui of the room. I feel so relaxed. Wait, does this feel blood? It looks like wait, that's true because wait, the blood's always been pink, right? The blood's always been pink up until now. Becky, are you fucking killing us? Possible red blood? What what the hell is this? The grotesque horror of the room struck me hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled, it was sour, pungent, and possi and possibly rank. I see. It smells awful, doesn't it? It's... It must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around uh, your fair share of corpses. Are you... Are you sane? It's the smell of death, the flesh and fat and blood. There was no surprise in his voice, no shock. But he was right. I had experienced this smell more than once before. It was a smell of death and despair. So it is... It is blood. I mean, it could be like pig's blood. It doesn't have to be like human's blood. It could be like different. They got it from the one P. What do you mean one P board game? It's blood. It's blood! <laughs> but the smell here is strong, condensed. It's the smell of a battlefield. Monokuma must have. Hey! Come on! What? My fault again? <gasps> Stop trying to blame everything. I mean, you're you're slightly at fault, Monokuma. I hate to say it. Byaku is a killer. Now, Makoto! <laughs> and though I would think if Byaku did kill, he'd be more controlled about it. This might have been, oh, in the beginning of the game when we saw the scene where Monokuma um, launched somebody into space and they blew up or whatever, this might be that room where they died. Cause that would make sense. That would make sense. It might be this room, um, but I'm not sure. If you hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened. I mean, Monokumi's got a point. I'm 
wouldn't be like... No, 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 it's quite the opposite. The opposite. Now then. Yep, let me give you an itty bitty, eggy, 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 eggy squeaky little hint. <laughs> now, let me give you an itty bitty, eggy squeaky little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know what the, what you, are you sure? There's a giant, sir, there's a giant camera? <laughs> if I could direct your attention to the, to the side over here, there's a giant camera. <laughs> I just loved it exactly how I found it. What? Yes, indeed. How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from the NPCs and those mean old oh. RPGs. But it's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk? Of course, even in the outside world, people will die bloody and gruesome deaths every day. I can't day. wait! I can't so wait! So it's not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. Oh, thanks. Thanks for your words of wisdom. Also, Byaku was the first here, or half and half Daddy Longwings working with each other. I don't think so. I don't, because um, Byaku sees Monokuma as a, um, a competitor. He sees, because he's very competitive. So he doesn't see Monokuma as a friend. He sees him as like, as competition almost, as a challenge. What's he talking about? He just left, the, uh, left it the way he found it? What's the meaning of this? That means it was here before all this happened is what I'm thinking he's hinting at. Yaku, would you wait? Did I already talk to you? I don't think I talked to you. I think you just all or just like announced yourself when I walked in the room. Um, Yaku, about what Monokuma just told us. It's like I'm not even here. He must be lost in thought. Is he really thinking that hard, or is it just um, or is he just out flat or just flat out ignoring me? I'm thinking he's just flat out ignoring you. Oh my god, there's a lot to investigate. There's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever against such a ghastly hmm. sight. It appears all the blood stains are dry, and their color has changed as well. I think it's safe to assume these stains are considerably old. Oh, that's why it's not pink, because it's old blood. Though I think old pink blood would be like purple, not pink. This is all really blood? Hm. Of course, I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. <laughs> you, Byaku, I'm concerned. And it is interesting, I assure you, um, what on earth happened in this classroom? He seems like he's enjoying himself. No way I can keep up with someone like- Well, again, he thinks it's a game. He thinks all this is a game, so he's enjoying himself because of the challenge. Does- Listen, I- Again, the blood is pink in this game, so it's weird to see blood being red in this game, Arctic, because it's usually pink. Uh, pink is fresh blood, red is- Well, yeah, still, but if you think it would be- It'd be weird. Like, it's- It's weird that they made it red because apparently they didn't put red blood in this to keep the sensor down, or the, um- yeah, to keep the censorship down. But then they put it in here, in this part. There are white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of thing on detective shows and stuff like that. You always see it at the scene of a murder. Wish I could say I don't, I don't believe it. Yeah, that's what? One, two, three, four, five, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I see one over on the top of the desk. There's eight bodies. Eight bodies. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> they probably forgot. They probably did forget to change it. Multiple people. A lot of people. A lot of people. But I played all this, so I know everything. I know you know everything. Cause somebody got impatient <laughs> and wanted to rush through. <laughs> One body. Ah, ah, ah. Two bodies. <laughs> thank, thank you, Count Dracula. What is it? Raw. Raw. We going to wrestling? Dragon, I found your I found your room. Wow, Daddy Long said that'd be somebody really murdered. I mean somebody really murdered a bunch of people here. I'd like the words of wisdom from Yaku. What is this? It said bio class. Rattle rat. Oh, we can't break into here. It's locked. We came all this way just to be denied here? Sudden in the hallway says hall says bio lab. A bio lab that we're forbidden from um, seeing into? It kind of sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. Yeah, interesting. And I don't like how it's like at the end of the hallway. I'm not a pig. Are you sure about that, Arctic? Are you sure? Says the person who was trying to get me to kill, like, go through some of the scenes real fast in other games. You sure about that? You sure about that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is this room? Is this a dojo? Looks like a dojo. To death! Well, hello, Kata. How are you? How is your day? Oh my god, this is outside. <gasps> Coco, we made it! Is this an archery range? Coco? Why? Why are we in dead silence now? I forgot about that room. Makoto, are you self-aware? You are in a horror game. 
<laughs> breaking the form. You're all right? Well, I'm glad you're all right. You feeling better? Because I know yesterday we weren't feeling good. We made it to the outside. We're free. <laughs> Unless these are just fake trees or they're indoor trees, which would be really weird. This would have to be a huge room to have these big of trees inside. What Coco told me yesterday? What the heck did it mean? Mikuro Ikusaba. The Talk about Saba again. student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Pebbles, is this the thing you were talking about that they say like five times over and over and Watch over? Out for her. They're gonna drill Saba into my brain. I'm like, I get it. Saba's the 16th century. When you see the bio lab, you will be. I don't know what you will feel like, but oh, I'm looking so forward to it. Um, Coco? I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say, it. oh, okay, huh? I can't say anything. Coco narrowed her eyes. Oh, the camera. Her gaze started to the surveillance camera. Hey. You understand why, right? She was trying to tell me that whatever it was, it was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. But how did Coco get her hands on information that could be that important? So then. We're finished here. Oh. She made it clear that our conversation had come to an end. All right. And just like usual, I don't didn't understand anything. Um, any wait, didn't understand anything any better than before. I thought she left. I thought she just upped and left. A suit of armor is on display. It's ex extremely Japanese. That's all you have to say, Makoto. It's extremely Japanese. <laughs> It's extremely Japanese. Oh, really, Makoto? I know, right? Really? Really, Egg? You sure? <laughs> Even though this room is totally enclosed. Oh, it is an enclosed room. There's cherry blossom um, tree plants here, and it's in full hey. bloom. This room would have to be huge! Huge for this, um, for these trees to be able to fit in here. It's quite elegant. This is what you, you consider Indeed. elegant? I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese-style scenery is refreshing. I mean, it is really beautiful. I think this would become my main room if I was trapped in this school. Well, considering our situation, is it is it kind of out of place? No, it's fine. This is perfectly normal, Eggy. Perfectly normal. This looks like archery. That target seems pretty far away. Gotta say, pretty proud of my eyesight. Oh, but you can see a coin. I mean, I'm pretty proud of your eyesight too. If you can see a coin from that far, oh, Jesus. Even though this room is so oh, hey, it's quite elegant. Yes, I I, I I we've. I feel like we've had this conversation before. It's a straw post used for sword practice. Did they use it for training here too? Ah, more mun muns. There's a bunch of wooden lockers in here. The wooden lockers and keys remind me of a super old school public bathhouse. Hmm. You know, for, hmm. For an archery range slash like sword training, there's like no swords and no like arrow bows and stuff, which is very suspicious of it. What? <laughs> Can I just, can I just leave? All right, <laughs> let me just, time to leave the school. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. What the, what the? This looks like the, the grass gym from Pokemon. If I enter Pokemon? Hi, hero. Freedom, at last. What is the, why is there a random greenhouse in it? This is a weird ass school. I don't understand the school anymore. I mean, I didn't understand it in the Yo. first place, but. At first I thought I saw blue skies, but turns out they just painted the walls and the ceiling. You know? But, oh, but the plants are real. It's been a while since I've smelled vegetation and it helps me relax. The heck? That's not what you think. Oh wait, that's not what you're thinking. Is it what? Huh, what? Why is that hmm. bad? Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? It's there just beneath the surface, beneath their calm exterior. They're always watching and waiting. <laughs> Now, now he's getting, um, what do you call it? Now he's on edge. Now he feels like somebody's watching him. I, have you not noticed? Have you looked at the cameras again? <laughs> now he's nervous. And then we, um, and when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth the anymore, they'll put their plan for global. Oh my God. Extinction to, into action. Hero, 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 go, go back to the dining hall. <laughs> I'll well? get you later. I'm serious. Makoto's like, <laughs> I just noticed too, these are all carnivorous plants. I mean, these aren't, but these are huge carnivorous plants. Like this could kill somebody. <laughs> oh, like this could, like if you threw somebody in here, I think that would kill them. Cause if I remember correctly, this is also, this big one's a carnivorous plant. It's here. 
We are all magic. Exactly. Moogle understands. The drag man is high again. You right? Is this a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop doing here? Are the chickens inside? Oh, the chickens! This place even has chickens, huh? They're just regular chickens, right? Like they don't eat people or lay bombs and stuff. <laughs> people are slowly going crazy in the school. Eggie, what are you doing? It seems safe. Oh, I'm glad that chickens. Oh, I have to let me inspect every chicken. It's a chicken. It's not gonna lay lay a bomb, is it? Oh my! Is it a chicken? Oh my God! It's a chicken. It's not expected to be fed like humans. Is it? Is it a chicken? Oh my god, it's a chicken! It's, it it's really is, right? Like, I can say that for sure. Oh, can I expect this one? Oh, I can expect this one too. Is it a chicken? It's a chicken! It's really alive, right? There's no mistake! Is it a chicken? Oh my god, it's a chicken! It doesn't have, like, a second form, right? Oh my god. Eggie, leave the chicken coop! Step away from the chicken coop, sir! <laughs> oh, you like chicken ki chickens too, Makoto? I don't- not anymore. Not after my <laughs> suspicions. Oh my goodness. Not after my little crazy mind went off into some weird world. Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there are exactly five of them here. Exactly. Mm. Five, you know, the number that comes after four and before six, at least in terms of natural numbers. Anyways, whenever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains the mysteries of the cosmos. I'm at least 30% It's a number right. of power, a refreshing number on par with hand squeeze all natural lemonade. This whole chapter is a mind trip. As long as there are no cuckoos on the As long as there are no cuckoos. Oh my goodness. He never lets me get a word in edgewise. He was really excited about the chickens. What is this? I don't know what this is. There's some kind of control panel set near the wall. Does it control the air conditioning or something? It probably could, um, controls the humidity in here. Oh my god, what a cool one. It's for sprinklers. I like how he's like, wrong. It's not for the it's not for the temperature. It's for the sprinklers. It's for the sprinklers. It's for the sprinklers. Okay, that makes sense. Sprinklers? <laughs> yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off every morning at 7.30. Don't you dare change it without- Oh! <laughs> But now he's dad. He's dad, Monokumo, don't touch the temp. <laughs> of course the settings panel is locked, so you would you couldn't change it if you wanted to. So that means the sprinklers go off at 7 a.m. every morning. <laughs> yep, you got it. That's probably gonna be very important, I have a feeling. The temp the time. You got it. It's super user-friendly, which sucks. So if you get here too early, you'll get drenched, so watch yourself. But you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinklers anyways. Yes. Or do you have some kind of water fish? I'm gonna tell everyone I'm being concerned. So, and I think that, oh, I get to look at the giant plant. Well, let me look at the, yeah, let me look at the giant plant first. I think Eggie's like, what the, what, what the fuck is this? This thing is super weird, super creepy. Flowers are supposed to get this big. Is this thing real? Watch out! Oh my God, Monokuma, I'm gonna accidentally punch you. What are these things that have now everyone knows? <laughs> Watch out! What? That's a Motokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch it and you're in for some real excitement. Your heart's all like, whoa, and the plant's all like, snap! And your flesh is all like, bleh, and I'm dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. It's pretty freaking amazing if, you, if I do say so myself. Um, a student at Hope's Peak added, wait, Hope's Peak added improvements after improvement and created this miracle. Miraculous? Wow, well, Motokuma do <laughs> Hello, dude, out of nowhere. Um, the ultimate bot botan botanist? Botanist. Words are hard for me. Give me time. By the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, even people, so it's totally good for the environment. Wow. I knew it. I was gonna say, that's a carnivorous plant. Monokuma, the ultimate Monokuma. The Dragon Lord, I'm humbled. Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. <laughs> Not that I know anything about that myself. And he's gone. Spotting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I'd better keep my distance. <laughs> How would you even get up there? Somebody would have to yeet you, like super yeet you. I'm guessing this is a shed with like the gardening equipment. Just to be sure, I should take a look in the tool shed. I'm guessing lawnmower. Yep. This place seems totally disorganized from a lawnmower to fertilizer, flower pots to farm tools. And leaning against the back wall is that, is that a pickaxe? 
That's not- oh, this is a pickaxe? I was like, that's- that's not a pickaxe, but I, I see what he's talking about. Fertilizer? Max fertilizer piled up, so there are so many different kinds to choose from. And mun buns. Ha, huh, there's something craved in, into the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy diamond. Crazy diamond. I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. Is that Mundo? I don't think that's Mundo. I'm trying to see what else I can... I, there's something else in here. What, is, what are the... Oh, these are hoes. There's a different kind of guardian tools here. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? I mean, we could live here. I mean, Monokuma said we had everything we needed to live here. Yeah, he had it on the back of his coat. Did he? I don't remember that. There's a lawnmower here. Even with um, with this here, who's actually going to take care of this uh, of the lawn? I don't know, but I got paid. It don't matter if I get paid. So many flower pots, big ones, little ones, any size you might need. Maybe I'll grow some flowers and put in my room. That's really that's what you're going to think about. Wait, I got an idea. Well, you got an idea. I still think this flower is going to come into come into play at some point. It's just too obvious. Uh, so I guess I have seen what there is to set up here for now. Wait, did I see everybody? I saw Hina, I saw Hiro, I saw Byaku, I saw Coco, and I saw Toko. Okay, so I did see everybody. But once again, nothing I found seems to make any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. <laughs>